26th August 2022 Friday The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me Psalm 138 and verse 8 After expressing his thanksgiving unto the Lord the great God towards the end of the psalm that is in the last three verses david reflected on how the lord is mindful of his needs first of all in verse 6 david wrote though the lord be high yet hath he respect unto the lowly here keeping himself as an example he is talking about the wonderful character of our lord that is though the lord is high and the lofty one great god yet he respects humble poor and needy people a similar expression we find in psalm 113 and verses 5 through 8 which reads who is like unto the lord our god who dwelleth on high who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth he riseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth the needy out of the dung hill that he may set him with princes even with the princes of his people There is no one who is equal to our Lord in greatness and in glory but the Lord is mindful of the needy and humble people and how he riseth up the poor out of the dung hill and even from the dust and then sets them with princes in Lord Jesus Christ He remembered us in our low estate when we were dead in our sins and trespasses. He elevated us even to the heavenly places and made us to sit with Lord Jesus Christ as we see in Ephesians chapter 2. We can relate such a work of our God to Book of Isaiah chapter 57 and verse 15 For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity whose name is holy I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones Secondly, as we see in Psalm 138 and verse 2, in which David says that though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Our Lord is the one who revives the people, those who walk in the trouble. Nowhere in the Bible we are told that we will not have troubles. However, when we walk in the troubles, it is the Lord who will revive us. It is similar to what we read in the book of Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 2, which says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee when thou walkest through the fire thou shalt not be burned neither shall the flame kill upon thee it is because the lord would be with those people those who go through the situations thirdly david says as we see in today's scripture portion the lord will perfect that which concerneth me or in other words the lord will fulfill all my needs he careth for our needs may the loving lord do unto us also as he had done unto david remember us in our low estate revive us 
and take care of us. Amen.